I saw um, I saw a psychiatrist this week, and they prescribed me anti-anxiety medication. And right after that, I called my mom, and I was like, "Mom, I just saw a doctor, and they prescribed me anti-anxiety medication." My mom did not like that. She got all mad. She was like, "Gabby, you don't need to be on anti-anxiety medication. I don't think that you have anxiety. I think the problem with you is that you're a millennial, and I think that you expect everything to be fed to you in a silver spoon. I think that you internalize all of your problems and you blame everybody else in the whole wide world. You don't need medication, Gabby. It's just gonna make your life worse. I don't think you're anxious." And I was like, "All right, law, okay." <laughs> She's like, "What they put you on?" I was like, "Lexapro." She's like, "Oh, really? Mm, that stuff's good. That's what I'm on." <laughs> Like mother, like daughter, <laughs> what? Um, <laughs> I, do, I do have a lot of anxiety, especially when it comes to sexual intercourse. I get very, um, I get very in my head and I get like a lot of racing thoughts. Like, oh my God, like, does he actually like me? Is he gonna respect me after this? Does he think that I'm cute? Like, should I call him in a couple of days? Like, when am I supposed to call him? Like, is this Lexapro actually working? Because I don't think that it's working because I wouldn't be having these thoughts if it was working. Maybe I should have listened to my mom. Maybe she was right when she told me I didn't need medication. Oh. <laughs> but when I get that anxiety, I try to calm myself down and I remind myself, I'm like, you're smart, right? Like, drop a sick fact to impress him. <laughs> So he, so he knows that you're interesting and well-rounded, right? So I wait for the perfect moment, like right before he's about to come, I'll be like, oh my God, hey, hey did you know that the strongest creature in the world is actually the gonorrhea bacteria? What? <laughs> he's like, what? No! <laughs> I'm like, yeah, isn't that interesting? For real. Like, it can pull 100,000 times its own weight. Oh my God, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good fact. I like that fact. Because it keeps him guessing, right? He's like, wait a second, why is she talking about gonorrhea? Does she have gonorrhea? Is she trying to tell me right now that she's giving me gonorrhea? It's mysterious. And if there's one thing that I know about you fellas, it's that you love a little bit of a mystery. <laughs> keep him guessing, keep him coming back for more. He's like, who is this gonorrhea goddess? <laughs> wow. Oh, my mom hates that joke. She's like, Gabby, can you not call yourself the gonorrhea goddess on stage? I'm like, no, nah, mom, I don't have to listen to you anymore. I'm on Lexapro. <laughs> Uh, this guy I used to sleep with though, he hated it. He gets so mad. He'd be like, girl, you gotta stop with these weird STD facts in the middle of sex. <laughs> You're bumming me out. Just focus and be in the moment. You're never gonna enjoy this. And I'm like, yeah, well, that's why I got a medication. Like, I know, but he's right. And I was like trying to, okay, so we're like hooking up and I'm like, all right, just be in the moment, girl. Like, don't say any weird facts. Just like, here we are, two people doing, doing it, right? So we're like getting into it, and I notice that next to his bed, this fool has like 15 hats next to his bed in a stack. Just one right on top of another. And they're all the same hat, not even a variation in color. And I'm like, whoa, okay, that's so weird. Like, how could I not say something, right? So I was like, I gotta call this guy out. I was like, hey, excuse me. Um, I know like we're having fun, and like this is cool and all, and I don't wanna like interrupt you, but What's up with all the hats? <laughs> he was like, what? Why are you talking? Why are you talking about my hats when I'm inside of you? And I was like, I don't know. He's like, focus on the moment. And I was like, oh, I don't know. You have a fucking, you have a lot of hats. And you told me to focus on the moment. And in this moment, you happen to have 15 hats, one right on top of another. He was like, no, girl, focus on me, not the hats. And I got so nervous because he was all worked up and I didn't know what to do. So I like tried to be funny and I grabbed one of the hats and I was like, <laughs> hats off to that one. <laughs> He was like, why does everything with you have to be a fucking joke? <laughs> I was like, yeah, well, was, it, was it a good one? <laughs> Do you think it would get a laugh if I talked about that? 
couple days went by after the hat incident, and I texted him, and I was like, you know what, that was fun. I like you. You want to hang out tonight? He writes me back and says, I got company, period. Right? I was like, okay, player. <laughs> I see you. You know what else you got? <laughs> Gonorrhea. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much.